Stop rating this game. D4G here. I am back. What it do, baby? All right, you check the title and the thumbnail, man. Today we're doing a first impression over Novia by Mason Alhambra. And then we're also going to be tapping into King or the Heart of Clubs. Stupid. By Fragrance World. Now, both of these fragrances I did pick up in the Facebook trade. I told you I'd be, I'd be trading on Facebook, man. So I ended up trading my Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, the original, for these two. I ain't gonna lie, I think I think uh, I think that was a pretty good trade for me, man. I've I kind of been wanting to tap into these. So I'm cool with this. We're gonna dive into the king first. Let's go ahead and see what this one's going for. Now, unless it just wows me, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just do this on a strip. Now, I didn't get the presentation with this, which I'm cool with. I got the presentation of the Joker one. So I'm cool with that. I don't have to have a presentation for every one. As long as I got the presentation for one, we good to go. And this thing is extremely smoky, like extremely smoky with like a earthy, woody backdrop in a way. Somewhat sweet. I'm, I'm kind of rocking with this. It definitely smells elegant. I kinda, I'm rocking with this. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I'm getting off real. You can pick up that root bar. It does have a very nice wood bar. Now it's not as in your face. But you can't pick it up. It doesn't have a sour smell to it, but you can definitely tell that that rhubarb is there. You also can pick up some of the citruses. Now, the citruses is not a dominant factor, and it is more so on that orange citrus than like a lime bergamot. So it is on the orange spectrum of things. Now, there are a few fruits that I'm getting. Like, you can't pick up a slight fruitiness from it. It's not sweet, but you can pick up the fruits that's in here as well. With a good amount of spice, man. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's almost like smoky fruity with like a slight undertone of earthy vibes this is not bad i'm rocking with this one now this doesn't smell like one that's like a everyday utility type of thing like unless you're doing unless you're somebody who's always dressing up very formal in a way like suits or almost like slacks with a polo then yeah i can see you rocking with this one but somebody that's in let's say college young i really can't see you rocking with this one this one is a nice one though it is nice but this one just smells more like an occasional fragrance, not something that you would absolutely put on every day, even though it is nice. We're going to switch over to the other one real quick, and we're going to tap into Nivea, and we're going to see how this one's coming off. Now, one thing that I can say about that King is that with the Jack of Clubs, that one comes off like an everyday scent. You can really just throw that one on. Damn near signature scent, that one. The King one is not that. That one is a little bit more like you definitely want to feel like dressed up. That one's very elegant. Boy, this one is extremely woody. Oh my gosh, just a lot of woods in here. There's a lot of woods in here, and the dark wood at that. Extremely dense. This I can't see this one in the summer. This is an extremely dense fragrance. A good amount of woods. It does have like a faint almalic type of smell about it. I can't see this one for everybody either, man. I'm telling you right now, like even if you don't even like leather, like I'm not sure if this one has leather in it, but it's almost coming off like a leather style fragrance. Yeah, I, I'm rocking with it. It does smell a little bit older. It's not one of those that I can't see somebody under 30 truly enjoying this one. This one does smell like an older gentleman type of fragrance. And that's one of the things that I have noticed when it comes to these Louis Vuitton fragrances. Not all of them gravitate towards like the younger crowd, especially once we get into the private blend. Like right now, these are the current two that I have. And I can honestly say that these aren't everyday style fragrances. And these aren't fragrances that I can truly see my young people wearing. Now, these are going to be more of like a mature man's fragrance. And even with it coming off like a mature man's fragrance. Now, if you're more mature, this would be something that I can see you, you know, enjoying every day out and about, really, no matter what you got going on. Casual, but you probably would feel better with something like this, a little bit more dressed up. If you older, like I said, you probably already in the jeans, polo, like very casual look. So... This one would go with an older guy. I can't see my younger folks wearing this one. A lot of woods, a slight earthy undertone. Does have like a smoky feel with it as well. But that's about it, man. This is almost like a reverse Uno type of thing because this is kind of what I what I would expect the dry down to dry down to smell like. Not in the opening. But this opening is extremely dense. Like, it is nice. I'm rocking with it. I just can't see this. Like, I ain't telling y'all to go rush out and get it. No, not at all. Not on this one. Not on this one. More mature, for sure. Dipping back to the king real quick. We're going to see how this one. Okay, so now it's going into definitely a little bit more of a 
smoky, spicy vibes, like those fruits kind of dial back a little bit it's not as fruity as it was in that opening it is very much so an extremely smoky spicy type of fragrance still nice but still not for everyday occasion but that's gonna be the video man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i am rocking with these two but i can personally say that i don't think these are two that you just have to go out and buy i don't think the majority of y'all will be rocking with this with these two fragrances like that not to say that they're bad but they are more on the unique side and not more so of the mass appeal side. So definitely think about that if these are two that you're looking to pick up. But with all that being said, we got to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of the damn D4G. Truly blessed. Destined for greatness. Yeah.